Y'all listen at what this Durham police officer did. Durham, North Carolina police officer. A Durham police officer charged with kidnapping, sexual battery, and forcing a sex act. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Thanks for joining us. Police tell us that Officer Joseph Daniels turned himself in to the Durham Police Department yesterday. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joining us now live from the department after digging deep into the police reports. And Bridget, something unique about this was a third party was there when this allegedly happened. Yeah, Rod, the report actually says that a woman who lives with Daniels was there during this. Now, what we don't know is what she saw if and how she had any involvement. That is not listed on any of these police reports, but we do know Officer Daniels has been with the police department for 10 years, and now he's the one being investigated. Durham Police Officer Joseph Daniels is charged with sexual battery, a police officer. Come on now, man. I remember back in the day, like in the early 80s, 90s, when you ask somebody what they wanted to be, they said a basketball player, a football player, firefighter, or a police officer. Now, you look at police officers as gangs now is accused of forcing a sex act with a 27-year-old woman at his home in Apex. Police say he restrained the woman against her will and sexually assaulted her. An incident report says he caused minor injuries to the woman and that he knew her beforehand. She reported the crime June 16th. Police say 35-year-old Daniels turned himself in Thursday in Durham County. He's been released on a $75,000 bond. <laughs> Daniels has been with the Durham Police Department for a decade and is with the Organized Crime Unit. I asked why it took more than three weeks for him to be charged. Apex Police said all investigations are unique and have varying amounts of times and facts to gather enough evidence to arrest someone. Officers had to interview the victim, suspect, and witnesses. Records say a 31-year-old woman who also lives at Daniel's address was there for the incident. I went to his house to get his side of the story. Someone peeked through the blinds at us but didn't open the door. Neighbors said they didn't know Daniels personally but saw his patrol car often. Initially, after finding out the allegations, the city... See... <laughs> You can see somebody peeking out the blinds and stuff. He, he peeking out the window. He don't want no damn interview. Place Daniels on administrative duty with pay. After further review, they moved him to administrative leave without pay as the investigation continues.